In this lecture snippet, I'd like to discuss converting an ASCII text value over to a hexadecimal value. And really the main purpose of why I want to do this is because while I'm searching for information on files using a hex editor, sometimes I don't actually get the results that I was hoping for or really wanted. And I'll explain to you why. This is an actual file record in the master file table for the file that was named findme.rtf. And I tried searching for findme.rtf and I couldn't find the actual MFT value very easily. And the reason for that, if I look a little closer at the way it's written to the actual hard drive itself, now when I saved the file it was actually called findme and there were no spaces at all. And that's what I was actually searching for under the ASCII string. However, it didn't find it because of the fact that when I, when I look here and I see findme, even though when I saved it, it did not have any spaces in it, the way that it was actually written to the hard drive was an F, which is going to be represented by a 46 in ASCII, and then there's just this void spot of two zeros, and then there's going to be a 69, which is the lowercase i, and then another set of two zeros. And so when it saves file names in the actual MFT record, oftentimes it's not exactly the way that I expected it to be from my Windows file name itself. And so it does have these sets of two zeros between each one of the ASCII characters. And so it couldn't find find me because it's not really FIND on the hard drive. And so you can see over here I've got a couple of these values converted over. Like the capital F is 46 in hexadecimal, I is going to be 69, and then you can see that I've got this whole list here. And so what I can do to be a little bit more accurate when I'm searching for things is that if I know that I'm searching for something like a file name and I'm trying to find the master file table record of it, I can actually search by using the hexadecimal values of the letters that I'm working with and filling in the sets of zeros between each one of those letters. And so what I have here is, for instance, you can see the 46 is for the F, two zeros, six nine, zero zero, six E, zero zero, and it just continues. So now I'm currently in this actual hexadecimal area, and I'll show you. I'm going to do a forward slash, and I'm going to search. And so I'll go ahead and paste in that hexadecimal value, the 46, zero zero, or six nine, and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And you'll notice that it actually stopped right there. It actually found the value there. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you by tabbing over, and I'm going to be in the ASCII area. And I'm going to go ahead and try, I'm going to come back up here to the top and see if it will actually find the find me. And I'm going to try it two different ways. I'm going to try it find me, like I have here, and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. You'll notice that it just skipped by it. Now I'm going to cancel out of that find. It didn't find it when I did that. If I hit forward slash again, and I tried doing it find F space I space N space D space capital M space E like that using those gaps between them and I hit enter you'll notice it didn't find it either it actually blew by while it was searching for it and so searching by hexadecimal values may give you a better result when looking for a particular files. so let me show you ASCII values and so for instance if I actually was looking for a file that had a space in the name I would use the 20 for a space as a character and then if you look here there's a lot of special characters there are numbers there are uppercase letters and it is different from lowercase numbers as far as their values are concerned I will make this text file available as a hyperlink in the description of my video and I'm gonna go back to Ubuntu now and so sometimes it may be more beneficial for you to actually search based off of hexadecimal values rather than the actual ASCII text itself. So this is the video on converting over ASCII text to hexadecimal values.